city of Kisumu. Now, just hours after the court issued a ruling that gives Kithure Kindiki a green light to be sworn in as the deputy president, a flurry of Gazette notices first tracking the process of swearing in have been released. The notices set Friday 1st of November as the swearing in date in a public holiday. Musala Mudavadi has been appointed interior, uh, acting interior cabinet secretary as Melita Oletenges now reports. I had the dust settled on the court's ruling, paving way for the swearing-in of the deputy president nominee Kithure Kindiki. Then the wheels were in motion to install him in earnest. In a rapid fire sequence, a flurry of Gazette notices were issued. Starting with Gazette Notice 14098, gazetting the assumption of Office of Deputy President Committee in line with the Assumption of Office Act. Chief of Staff Felix Koske announcing the appointment of Masi Wanjao, Secretary to the Cabinet, as the chairperson of the 21-member committee to facilitate the assumption of Office of Deputy President nominee and convened a meeting. Then came Gazette Notice number 14099, President William Ruto assigning Prime Cabinet Secretary Musalia Mudavadi as the Acting Cabinet Secretary Ministry of Interior and National Administration. Gazette Notice 14100 then followed. The chairperson of the Assumption of Office Committee swung into action, notifying the public that the swearing-in ceremony of the Deputy President nominee shall take place on Friday at the Kenyatta International Convention Center. Gazette Notice 14101 by the Acting Cabinet Secretary Ministry of Interior and National Administration, Musalia Mudavadi, was the fourth Gazette Notice in quick succession, declaring Friday the 1st of November 2024, a public holiday, being the day of the swearing-in of the deputy president nominee. At the same time, the head of the public service, Felix Koske, sent out an invitation to all chairpersons of state corporations, all chief executive officers of state corporations, to attend the swearing-in of the deputy president nominee, Kithure Kindiki, at the KICC on Friday. Then an invite to media houses to the swearing-in ceremony by the State House Press Secretary Emmanuel Talam. The swift gazette notices forming a composite consideration of the procedures outlined in the Assumption of Office Act. Melita Oletenges, Citizen TV, Nairobi.